Women's March Madness is absolutely dominating men's March Madness. And look, I know in the men's tournament, a 16 seed upset a one seed, but the storylines we are getting out of the women's tournament, you couldn't write if you worked for WWE. I mean, the women's tournament has players telling other players congrats on honorable mention after they lost the game. Haley Cavender's out here icing the game with a free throw and then shushing the entire Indiana team. This is like the biggest storyline to come out of the men's tournament is, oh, an FAU player went for a windmill dunk when they were up big to end the game. The only problem I have with this is that he missed the dunk. That's the only problem. Meanwhile, the women's tournament is out here having players challenging Shaq to one-on-one. Not a single player in the men's tournament has the confidence to challenge Shaq 1v1 right here, right now. The second part of my thesis is that the biggest names, the best players in college basketball are all on the women's side. Caitlin Clark is like the long lost splash sister pulling up from the logo like she's Steph Curry, Dame Lillard, Clay Thompson, and boy is she ice cold with it. Aaliyah Boston might be the best player in the entire country. And oh, how good is her team? I don't know. They're just pitching an undefeated season. The other biggest name in college basketball right now? Oh, I don't know. Paige Beckers, who hasn't even been able to play this entire season. Who's the number one NBA draft prospect? Victor Webbenyama. What college team does he play for? Let me know. The men's game also used to have the biggest names in coaching in college basketball. I'm talking Coach K, Bobby Knight, John Wooden. That now belongs to the women's game. Gino Auriemma and Don Staley are the two biggest names in college basketball coaching. And oh, by the way, Don Staley's just pitching a perfect season right now.